I'm sorry story time is a little bit late today and um, I've been at work so I'm really sorry about that. Come on. Okay. Alf is here and um, ready for the story. Aren't you mate? Shall we reveal what the story is going to be today? Here's a little clue. It's not for you Alf. Here's the lion. <laughs> here you go. And here's the book. The lion inside. Are you ready, Al? Sit down then. Good boy. Wait. In a dry, dusty place where the sand sparkled gold stood a mighty flat rock, all craggy and old. <laughs> and under that rock, in a tiny little house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekest brown. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him, ever, at all. Little Bill. Hello. Ow! He got trod on, and sat on, and missed out for stuff, ignored and forgotten. Yep. Mouse life was tough. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was lion o'clock. This huge, toothsome creature made sure everyone saw how important he was by how loud he could. <laughs> he was head of the pack. He was shouty and tough. He loved showing the crowd he was made of strong stuff. Yep, all were impressed by this mighty king cat. Oh, if only, thought Mouse, I could be more like that. Then, late one dark night, in his mini mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He jumped from the covers and he held up a paw. I've got it, he said. What I need is a I mean, what if this mouse with the weeniest squeak was a little more grrr and a little less meek? Well, he'd still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice, but he'd make friends and join in and life. Oh, it would be nice. Yes, thought the mouse. I must find out how. I will learn how to roar and I will learn it now. But look. Oh my gosh. There was only one beast who could teach him this thing. But might make him a feast. It was time to be strong. Take a chance. After all, forever was such a long time to be small. So, he made himself brave, and he fought like a winner. He set off for the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing you could do, but if you want things to change, you first have to change you. The further he climbed, the closer he got to the slumbering lion reclining on top. Remember that word slumbering, we talked about that on the carpet and that means he is sleeping. Then, at last, as he stood on his tippity toes, he found himself suddenly nose to nose. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Wake up, Mr Lion. twinkling plane. Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time slowed right down. Wow, it felt like a week. And then he opened his mouth and let out a eek! <clears throat> the 
the lion was shaking, his paws all a fumble. He was backing away with a scrambling tumble. Oh, don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Well, my goodness, this lion was frightened of mice. Uh, don't worry, Mouse Pete. I'm a friend, not a foe. Let's rock this together. We'll have fun, don't you know? That would be nice. And that was a magical moment for sure, when Mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He had found his true voice and learned to speak out. And for that, you don't need to roar or shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both liked that rock better. Now the rock was to share. The mouse, while still little, felt big in his head. And the lion, well, he still roared, but with laughter instead. <laughs> and that, oh, another page. Yes, that day, they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. And that's the end of my story for today. Now tomorrow is a little bit different because tomorrow is going to be Forest Schools. Now if you've seen my earlier message you will know I have hidden some sticks outside the school gate and on a bench outside the Johnny Farmer. If you go out for a walk with your family, pick one up and then you'll be able to join in with tomorrow's Forest Schools lesson. If you can't, don't worry. There'll be something else for you to do as well. Before we go, um, I'm going to choose tomorrow's story because I've got a special one for Forest Schools. But I've been to work today and I've picked up some new stories. So um, I'm going to show you them now. And you can choose, send me a little message, which one you want. So we've got Some Dogs Do which is a really good one, about dogs who can fly. The Gruffalo's Child, Whatever Next, We're Going on a Bear Hunt, The Owl Babies, The Tiger Who Came to Tea, Can't You Sleep, Little Bear, My Mum and Dad Make Me Laugh, and there's a bear on my chair, which is my favourite. I'll see you soon. Have a lovely evening. Bye-bye.